Because Fox is where the news is. If you just got a new smartphone for Christmas, a company in Israel has designed a no-cancer headset to keep people safe from radiation. Leland Vitter, live from Jerusalem now, with details on this thing. Hey, Leland. Hey, Clayton, you know, if you get a new cell phone for Christmas, it's most likely a smartphone, a droid, something like this, Blackberry or an iPhone. These things emit a whole lot more radiation than your standard cell phone that you may have had in the past. And, of course, there's a lot of debate. Do cell phones cause brain cancer or not? But a lot of folks are saying, better be safe than sorry. And this technology is actually based on the very same thing we use in order to listen to the program, hear what you guys are saying in the studio, what the producer is saying. The speakers fear it here, and it has this clear coil that goes in to our ear. So go ahead and apply that to a cell phone. Here's the cell phone, here's the cord, and rather than having the speaker in your ear like this, the speaker's at the end of this clear long tube. Same thing I have on this side. So you put it in your head like this. You can talk on your phone without having it next to your head, without having a speaker next to your head. It was invented by this Israeli guy who had an uncle who had a brain tumor, and he, they say back in the day he talked on one of those big brick cell phones, those huge things you used to have to hold up to your head, and that's what this inventor thinks caused his uncle's tumor. The tumor was the same location and the same size and uh, place when you talk with the cell phone. I mean, it was uh, like a shape of the cell phone exactly behind the ear, and it was quite obvious that it happened from something that was put all over this, this part of the head. It makes sense that an iPhone just sitting here has very low radiation, but watch what happens when you make a call. This is where it gets interesting. Here's the phone. This is a regular headset, and there's still a lot of radiation. Put it next to the earphones, there's nothing. How's business been so far? The business now going up uh, very nicely. We start selling uh, internationally. We have customers in Sweden, in Belgium, in the UK, in the United States, in Australia. So the advantage here is obviously is that the speaker is farther away from your head. The issue we've been kicking around the office here is, okay, so that means you don't get brain cancer, but now you have this thing next to your heart. And what the researchers will tell you is that the tissue here is much less susceptible to the radiation than your head is. This technology costs about 50 bucks. And the other thing, while it looks a little awkward, is that, Clayton, you can actually listen to your iPhone or any of your music on your BlackBerry through these things, and they say the speaker is a little bit higher quality than the kind of thing you get in your ear. It's called Smart and Safe, and it's about 50 bucks. Smart and Safe. Leland Vitter. Wow. Great stuff. Interesting. Thanks so much for that live from Jerusalem. You know, I think the moral to the story is just don't make any phone calls ever again. Well, uh, impossible. I mean, I'm on my cell phone. Uh, right? I am writing down text. Smart and Safe. Do you make People phone calls? Make phone calls anyway. I'm, you know. Oh, I do all the time. Yeah. Well, you're Chad yeah. Kathy. I, I call am. my wife. I like That's about it. Phone. Maybe I could just plug this thing in. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then, yes, that would be great. And then all the viewers can hear what's going on in your head. Oh. No, it doesn't <laughs> no, you don't want to hear that. that.